Hello all, it's Jenny and I'm here with a new mystery box. This is the Almost Perfect Mystery Box with Coffee and Tea from Caffeine and Legends. It retailed for $31.99 and I paid $42.94 with shipping. The regular price is $37.99 or I should say was. It now appears to be sold out. I didn't see their mystery boxes available on their store right now but they do have one-time boxes of their past um, subscription boxes they do have subscription boxes for $38.99 a month plus shipping the shipping kind of seems like a lot but it's because they ship straight with um, the United States Postal Service so that it gets to you faster it's also so that, like you're paying for you you get what you pay for basically with that shipping and let's see and I just wanted to show the box because it's a really nice box and you can see honey bear at the side wanting attention you know boxes are very exciting for cats too and I just really wanted to show the tape before I cut into it because it's really cool looking tape let's open it up Sorry, honey. Hi. Sorry. Honey. Honey. Okay, sorry about that. And your cats can't resist boxes. Excuse me. Honey, watch out. Don't want to cut your whiskers. really good quality tape too okay so let's see what is in the box ma'am excuse me okay so we have a recipe card it says so it's a recipe for blueberry iced latte on one side and then Blueberry syrup on the other. Sounds really good. And then they have their little ad. Here's a code you can use to save 10% on your first subscription. And so we have our first coffee is by Imani Organic Coffee. It is their dark roast pour positivity. It's from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Let's see what it says in the back. You've just discovered the perfect everyday coffee. Our organic dark roast coffee is grown in rich volcanic soil, hand-picked, fully washed, and dried in raised beds, tasting notes a rich and smooth coffee with hints of cocoa and butter. Sounds really good. I really like um, dark roast coffee, so I'm really into this. So then they have about their company. By purchasing our coffee, you are helping to make a positive impact around the world. We believe in fair and equal wages, and giving back our nonprofit partnerships, excuse me, honey, help provide schools, roads, and clean water in rural Democratic Republic of Congo. That's really awesome. It's really good that they do have a good cause. And they are whole beans. I know for the subscription, you can request ground coffee. But um, doing the mystery boxes, you can't. I do have a um, coffee grinder that the uh, Hamilton Beach one. Those are cheap. They work really well. I really like them. Then our tea is by, I guess, O-Ripe. So it's made in Hawaii. And it's made with Kona mangoes. Um, so it's Kona mango loose leaf tea. There's a reusable tea bag included. That's really cool. And it says... Or arrive try is inspired by Hawaiian life, pure island flavors that are meant to refresh your soul and transport you to a place where worries disappear into the glimmering ocean. Take a few minutes to enjoy a glass of simple relaxation made right here in Hawaii. It sounds really nice, and they have directions for both hot brewing and cold brewing. So cold brewing is definitely what you'd want to do in these hot summer days. But hot brewing's really so it's not like that. It's but it could be either cold or hot brewed. 
And so if I, if anyone knows how to say this, I don't know if it's arrive, arrivey, arrivey. I don't know how to say it. So if anyone knows how to say it, please tell me in the comments. I would love to learn. And the item we have is, I think it's a bag clip. It's really cute. It's made of wood. It's a little shark design on it. And then we also have, ooh, we got two items. A tote bag. It's a really nice tote bag. It says, the world belongs to those who read. I like that. Here's the book. Ooh, it's a big book. So the book is Kaike by by Vaishnavi Patel. I know I'm very much so saying all of these wrong. Again, please tell me how to say it in the comments. So it's here, a mythic retelling at its best, entrancing, troubling, and complicated. Kayake is marvelous. That was said by R.F. Kwong, author of The Poppy War. There's the side of it. And it has some more excerpts from reviews on the back. Let's read. I really like the pages. It kind of has those... Um, So, and I guess this was considered the defect, how, like, the pages are kind of uneven in their cutting, but I don't mind that at all. There are some scratches. In the Almost Perfect box, the reason why they're at a discount is because they aren't, um, because there might be some minor defects in them, so they, so they sell them at a discount so that they can still be sold, but, like, the people who are buying, paying full price get a perfect quality book. So it says, I was born under the full moon under an auspicious constellation, the hottest of positions. Much good it did me. So begins Kayake's story. The only daughter of the kingdom of Gagaya, she is raised on tales of the gods, how they churn the vast ocean to obtain the nectar of immortality, how they vanquish e evil and ensure the land of Barat prospers, and how they offer powerful boons to the worthy. Yet she watches as her father unceremoniously banishes her mother, listens as her own worth is reduced to the marriage alliance she can secure, and when she calls upon the gods for help, they never seem to hear. Desperate for independence, she turns to the text she once read with her mother and discovers a magic that is hers alone. With it, Gaia Gaia transforms herself from an overlooked princess into a warrior, diplomat, and most favored queen. But as the evil from her childhood stories threatens the cosmic order, the path she has forged clashes with the destiny the gods have chosen for her family. And Kaikei must decide if resistance is worth the destruction it will wreak and what legacy she intends to leave behind. The unforgettable tale of a woman determined to leave her mark in a world where gods and men dictate the shape of things to come. Patel's mesmerizing debut shines a brilliant light on the vilified queen from the Ramayana. So I'm really excited about this. I love, I love um, fantasy. I love reading about other cultures. And one of the great things about like fantasy stories is that they really reveal a lot about the values of a culture. A lot of the history in the culture can be included. So it's a really great way to learn about the world and other cultures in the world. So I'm really excited about reading this. And I'm sure y'all have noticed in the side here, Honey Bear has been. Well, she just ran off. They have the little packing peanuts, and my cat has decided those are great toys and has run off with one. So that is everything that came in the box. I'm really excited about this, and it's a really great box. I, um, I'm very pleased with, what, with everything that I got. I think it's worth it. It's definitely a subscription service that I will be looking into subscribing when I have the funds. For the time being, I'll just be sticking to the one-time boxes. Um, take care, everyone.